This was one of the Chinese style vases of flowers that I went through a phase of doing. I did quite well with them. I did quite a few of them that were behind glass and those ones always sold. People prefer if they're going to buy work for it to be behind glass. They're always a bit scared of it if it's not. I personally prefer it to not be behind glass. It also means you can do a bigger piece and of course the bigger the piece is the easier it is to put more detail in. Again, it's based on a painting. I, did, I had a, quite a few where I did paintings and then I would do embroidery from the painting, which wouldn't be exactly the same. It would be another version of what I'd done. This piece was named Tiger Lilies after the uh, Tiger Lily flowers that are in it. I chose this particular spring mix of colours because you do have the blue flowers and the red flowers and the white there to bring out the colours, which makes it a lovely bouquet to work with. And I do particularly like working with tulips. I've painted them quite often as well. You can see why the Dutch people liked them so much in the 17th century. They're such a big solid flower that you can really get into when you work with them. And the tiger lilies are much the same. They've got plenty of large area of leaf that you can shade and work into. In the vase I've used much of the same colours mixed in different ways that are used in the flowers. That's a way of getting away with mixing lots of, lots of pattern is using the same colours or similar colours and blending them all. Therefore you can put in lots and lots of pattern and get away with it. I've totally invented the colours on there although the basic design on the flowers and things is roughly what was on the vase but I, I wanted to make it more colourful and brighter that suited my purposes for this piece of work. If you mix as many colours in a painting, and I have tried doing it, it looks too much. I don't know why it's different with textile, but you can get away with it with textile. People expect to see lots of colour and patterns. I like to create a border around pieces of work that I do, it frames it and finishes it. And in this case I've used details from the vase and created a border which gives it a nice effective finish.